uh, Raman, could you please turn on your camera? So let's continue. So Raman, so this is the second round of interview for the server support role, and uh, we have Deepak with us. He is the manager in the IT operations, heading the server support team. Yeah. Okay. So let's start your interview. All the very best. Thank you. Right. So Raymond, uh, let's start with your introduction. Just brief about yourself. Sure. I have started my career in 2016, and my first company was Aegis, and it was a call-based process. I worked there for 2.9 years approx, and I used to call at a lot customers for their telephone-related concerns, and process got ramped down, so I resigned from there, and uh, I got. I joined Concentrix as a technical support, and there I used to chat with users, Comcast users globally, and call as well. And so currently, I'm working in CMS IT service as a desktop support engineer, and we are working globally as well here here too. The client is American Express, and we are troubleshooting laptop-related concerns, software applications, Active Directory on all those. That's all about me. Tell us more about your current role. Well, I'm working on ticketing tool that's called Service Now, where we use to manage incident we receive to we use to receive from various users across the globe, and uh, we are using Active Directory for user access management. We are working on Citrix for remote access, for remote access for Active Directory, and uh, apart from this, we are working we are using Bombgar as a chat tool. And as a callback tool, we are using a wire. And why are you leaving the CMS? You have joined it in July 21. Yes, there is a reason because he, he, firstly, I'm working as a contract to hire, and uh, I'm looking for a stable job because I'm 30 and it's time to get a stable job. I don't want to switch over again and again. And apart from this, I'm looking for better opportunity to learn more as well. Tell us about Citrix. I mean, what are you doing in Citrix? Okay, basically, Citrix is a remote tool. We cannot authorize any user to directly log in into Active Directory and do all required changes. Via Citrix, they can access various applications like Citrix, like Active Directory, particular portion, or any X Y Z software, web software like GSP and all those. It's basically a remote accessing tool. You can say for any softwares. Mm-hmm. And if so basically is, your American Express users connect via Citrix. No, via chat, and we then call them. No, no. What services are they using? They are using Citrix for accessing various software, financial software. They are using, and if they are yes, facing any issue, yeah, if they are using any issues in their Citrix, that it's not like I said, it's not popping up, and it's it's hanging up, hanging up a lot. So. We used to troubleshoot those, okay. and sometimes Any exposure on working on Windows server works. I do have knowledge for that, but uh, not on server. Uh, like I said, I'm working on Active Directory, so I do have information for Active Directory. Okay, you completed your graduation 2014. So, did you do any t- professional courses after that? Yes, I've done CCNA. Not, yeah, I've done CCNA, but not certified institutional training. I have done. Do you know what is SDN? Do you know the default port for RDP? Use port 443. Why do we use port 80? How do you define DNS? Can you tell me three different records which we create in DNS? How would you differentiate between public IP and private IP? Thank you so much problem. for your time. No, that's all from my side. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'll pass you any feedback with Kanchan, sure. and she will get back to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.